That team. The two. Seeing I. Buddy. Great. For the. Great. I've seen a lot of basketball, but I've never seen anything quite like this. LeBron teams up with Bugs Bunny. Sounds like a fairy tale. Sometimes fairy tales get dark. You think Toon Squad, Looney Tunes, funny, funny, ha, ha, ha. No. That team was all drama. This was easily the biggest challenge in my career. Tantalizing story, ain't it? Basically, what happened was an evil algorithm took my son, I took that personally. Yeah, I don't like that term, evil. But can we say sinister or maybe nefarious? I mean, egomaniacal? So many better words. So I had to team up with the Looney Tunes in another dimension so I can get my son back. Simultaneously, saving the Looney Tunes in their world. LeBron needed help. The Tunes needed LeBron. It just made sense, kind of. We needed someone who could play ball and act. But uh, one out of two ain't bad. As head coach and general manager of the Toon Squad, I take 100% full credit for everything LeBron James. I mean, I knew this was going to be an uphill battle. Granny's out here having a martini at halftime. Haters gonna hate. Even great teams struggle initially, and the Toon Squad was not a great team. Things were rough early on. I could tell by the tweets. Bron and Bugs, they weren't quite seeing eye to eye. There's no way Bugs and I could ever see eye to eye. He's like four feet tall. Bron just loves those high jokes, but talk about punching down. I'm the face of this team. It's called the Toon Squad, not the Bron Squad. <laughs> So cute to watch them bicker when everyone knows this is Lola's team. The chemistry wasn't there. Rumor was Coach Daffy was on the hot seat. There's no way I was going to be the lame duck here. I heard Bugs called LeBron the Wash King, and I think Bron took that personally. Oh, the king thought I'd just bow to him. But he don't know me very well, do he? Something had to change, or they were all doomed. Meet the Goon Squad, the team of your nightmares. Nightmare is right. Flying Anthony Davis will haunt my dreams. LeBron, he created the super team. We just perfected it. When I put this team together, uh... Me, Dame, Diana, NECA, Clay, all on one team? That's all, folks. The Goons have crazy powers. Diana Taurasi, the White Mamba. See, I'm not the only one who calls me that. Damian Lillard, we know it's always Dame time. Neka Obwomake. I like to think she picked up a thing or two from her sis. Chene doesn't have six arms and spider powers, last I checked. Clay Thompson, his shot is wet, but it's fire. But it's also wet. This is the toughest team that Braun has ever faced. The goons are unstoppable. Al G doesn't miss. And the other teams need some help. LeBron has won with all kinds of teammates. They're usually professional basketball players, though. Braun is a born leader, but this team had a lot of characters. Oh, yeah, real inspiring leader. We're all witnesses. Ugh. I mean, I felt like I could put the tunes on my back, like physically. They're pretty small. How insulting. And true. Ron had to figure out how to utilize their various skills. Come on. Whoa. Maybe skills is the wrong word, though. Makes it sound like LeBron had to save us. We're the best teammates he's ever had. People slept on that roster, but the tunes were deep. Bugs, Lola, Tweety, Sylvester, Porky, Wiley, Speedy, Taz. Who takes the last shot, though? I mean, LeBron, he's going to be doubled, and we know he's going to make the right play. When it's crunch time, the ball is going to be in my paws. These white gloves were made for hitting game winners. Oh, boy. Not this again. The tension was real, even if the players were cartoons. What was the key to bringing this? 
Two words, Lola Bunny. Greatest sidekick ever. Man, that's cold. You know, don't love the sidekick label, but we'll let it go because it's Brian. Lola Bunny, so much respect. She's a hooper I want to grow up to be. Lola made that team click, but LeBron was playing for something bigger. The driving motivation for LeBron has always been and will always be his family. Oh, uh, kind of schmaltzy, ain't it, Doc? My son means everything to me. He's more than just a name I write on my sneakers. Oh, brother. LeBron's played in big games, but never with his son at stake. That would normally be frowned upon. Now that's pressure. I'd do anything for my kids. In this case, I have to play basketball, which is convenient. And I'd do anything for a wheelbarrow full of carrots. Can we win one of those? I thought we were done with the legacy talk, but here we are again. LeBron versus another unbeatable super team. How many more defining moments can this man have in his career? Not one, not two, not three. Y'all, this game is gonna come down to the bunny and the goat. You heard me right, the goat. And the nickname, what's up with that? I understand why you're going with the goat, but the bunny, that's the best we could do? Bunny, goat, duck, buck, doesn't matter. We're gonna win and I'm gonna save my son. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Ooh, I do love a cliffhanger ending. Toons versus goons. Winner gets LeBron's son. We got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. Oh! Yikes. <laughs> Classic.